I think it's a combination of things. Well, first of all, um, I'll take the opportunity to thank Samantha and Kyle for the uh, tremendous opportunity. Um, I, I truly believe that uh, they they don't realize um, how much it means to me. Um, but yeah, it's it's um, the fact that the team was probably running out of, low on options with uh, with the rule of uh, not being able to drive multiple cars during the weekend. Um, and also, uh, you know, I think when a driver leaves a good taste in, in the team's mouth after uh, after uh, working with, with them in the past, I think it's easier maybe to, uh, you know, call him back. And also uh, the fact that the opportunity came at a really good time because we were uh, looking for uh, our sponsor, Rona, uh, Viagra, saint Hubert, Andy and Cantor. We were kind of looking at what to do um in this you know pandemic situation to uh, uh modify uh our season and um and uh, bringing uh bringing a weekend uh, like this uh into our race program uh, uh was uh, was a perfect opportunity it's it's going to be great I, I really believe that's going to provide some great racing um you know the the high speed banking and um, you know, in combination with the road course, um, you'll have a um, you know pretty amazing track for uh, for um, for the fans to uh, to be entertained uh, during uh, during the race. I think it's uh, I think it will compensate. You know, um, I, I believe that there's an advantage of maybe testing the truck or being in the truck um, prior to an event and and and. Uh, and then um, not knowing the track. So if you give me the choice, I would probably would like to be in the truck uh, the day before um, and just get used to it and get back in the thick of things. Uh, I've not been driving since uh, a year. So uh, yeah, just jumping in at the drop of the green flag is, uh, is gonna be challenging. Um, so I think, you know, the two will compensate. I also believe that the, the guys now, these days, they're getting stronger on the road course. You know, they're running at Mossport regularly um, on a normal year and Mossport is a difficult track. So when you're able to master Mossport, I think you you can bring that experience and apply it on other tracks. So, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be different, difficult for, for everyone on different aspects. But, um, you know, hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, to to uh, to get the feeling back of, of driving the truck, you know, quite quickly uh, in the race. Um, also, I think that uh, yeah, the guys are, are capable of doing some simulators, um, uh, test runs. Uh, I'll have the chance to run also on Thursday, and uh, that helps tremendously in regards of knowing the track. I mean, it's it's so yeah, being in the truck and and driving the truck every weekend, and then knowing the track via a simulator. I think you're getting really close to what you really need to be, uh, where you need to be to be strong right away. So it's gonna be tough. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. Um, and like I said, the guys are, are really strong right now um, on the road course. And I think uh, it might be the other way around, but um, yeah, I will, I will for sure, you know, uh, try to uh, discuss prior to the race with him and give him as much you know feedback as I had on the sim and, and what I felt from the track when I when I drove there a couple of years ago. But I think the team is, is really strong. Um, you know they have good people. Everybody is super dedicated to make uh, you know the KBM team uh, you know a very a very strong team and, and um, they bring good pieces. They do their own work before. Um, so I think they're at a very you know high level. Um, and with the challenges of not being able to run practice and qualifying, it's difficult for a driver to, you know, give the proper feedback on the proper weekend uh, with the way the track is, you know, um, with the truck. You, you're going to have to, you know, drive the piece that, uh, that gets bring to the track and, and evolve with it and, and, you know, give the best feedback as the track evolves and as, as the race evolves. And uh, hopefully that combination will uh, will work well, and um, and then we'll um, we'll have our the better piece at the end of the race, and then we'll be able to put the fifty one truck in the victory lane.
it's it's everything, you know. Um, I, I've raced for uh, Mr. Penske uh, in the 22 car and uh, we've got some poles, uh, finished second uh, many times. Um, I got some pretty bad luck, uh, ran out of fuel on the last lap at Road America. Uh, I got punt out of the race at um, Mid-Ohio, but nevertheless, I think, um, uh, yeah, it's winning would, would mean a lot and I would love it. But, um, you know, when you're driving the 22 or you're driving the 51, you have to remember that you're driving um, for a team that goes into a championship and uh, multiple drivers are driving these particular vehicles. So, um, you know, you need to show up there and, you know, be a team player and, um, and do everything for the team. And um, if the race unfolds uh, for you, then um, then winning yeah would be uh, would be amazing and um, uh, it would mean a lot to me for sure.